The beginning. Charcoal to note. Note declaring department. Zekiel. Assumption. Taking over the remaining doubt. I am here to help him lay him. Moroni is assorted in gold and presence atop the houses of union and common mind, and our stakes are spread appropriately and wide. Our Lord's leaders are not but a very pleasant men with good intention, letting Moroni lead with presence. Moroni hast spoken, and with intention to make understood that which is not yet understood by those much of my forward-moving flock. He speaks these words in high light. Our flock strayeth in breadth, and has caused a ceasing of our Lord's words, and hence truth. Those of the truest church do not sway to thy periphery, lest they absorb thy father's name and history with wicked consumption, and make malassociation. I am the character of moving on, of moving forward, and thou'st wide base is pleasant but stifling for the speed and quickening of the Church of Christ. Me, I am me. Now that the book I started thirdly, Joseph's book, my dear people, has gotten your attention, now that you are looking at my heavens, this fourth book I encourage to you, Lahaf's children's book, my dearest children that lie within the confines of Nephi's flock, Rejoice, for more are to join. Lahaf's children will minister and will engorge your spirit to make certain those in the periphery understand lattice and the bar I require of you. Thou must ordain an internal proselyzing. This information is contained within your heart and spirit, as this book reveals, that thy father asks you not to reject these words and finds Lahaf's people which are scattered within the church and hidden amongst the lame. For there exists no limit to my appointments, as baptism reveals, but my celestial kingdom is finite. Thy terrestrial kingdom is for the highest of the stupor and lame. As this beat hits thy spirit, ye shall not doubt this truth, lest thou are of the peripheral and wicked, or Nephi's prophets proud. If thou forget, then thou have forgotten Alma, forgotten war that is fought to enter. This is heaven. The policies of the prophets of Nephi's sons doeth echo like the canyons, echo at the same frequency as do the bricks that make up the holy temples. Thy God of thy lords of replenishing thy temple doest have a plan for carefully removing this gentle of kind impostors. And that is how we loved our brother, and it was with him and without one that we huddled and gripped hands and arms, and even sometimes we tapped skulls with knuckles, and thy skin was occasionally pulled from the body. And verily it was this that reminded me of a business meeting that I had with many friends, almost infinite in number. If I wasn't just speaking of those who I had in this room, that the idea was reminded to me that there are many heads in the world of mine, both inside the room and without, and a second thought did move first into my mind, then secondly, like a wind, that thought did descendeth to my hands first of the left, then of the right, and Satan did not bind my hands, and I moved them freely, and these hands of mine would, what did appear to be, catch a wave and behave against the world. Mind you that there are men who descendeth towards earth like this, and there are not my sons, for I have but one that has descended to earth, and likes this place, and after he visits with his brothers, he shall come down again. And like the white rain, you shall see his entourage. These men shall be the son of Nephi, and the son of Nephi's prophets, this entourage of the Latter-day Saints, and they will be afraid to read this document, for they mistake it for a contract with thy God. Instead of heaven's paperwork that I brought for this famous group whom I came here for, for thy demons here on earth, I am thy God, 
that has always been before you, but I have obtained you, my earth and my son's great work, as my father's obtains my work. These words often make thy Mormon hands tremble. These words before you lend your eyes to see nonsense and your mouths to claim fiction. But it is thy hearty mind that seeth profundity once complete, for they were misguided, and they have become blind in the most worthy of Satan's ventures, and it is for this that thy blind and thy meek shall inherit the earth, and that is a truth that one finds in their hand, which was forgotten on Sunday testimony, at least this next generation has forgotten, and I am sad for this misfortune, this policy maintained by modern prophets are misfortunate.